to the first ever CSBN Sportscast. I'm Danny Dean, he's Alex Day, and he's Matt Beebe. Boys, spring sports have just been killing it this year. Yeah, I mean, they really have each team looking to leave their own legacy here at MHS. And after a great season last year, the men's volleyball team is looking to make improvements. Megan Drake has a story. Although the record isn't as great as last year, the men's varsity volleyball team is making the improvements necessary to keep moving forward. Our strong side's really stepped it up. The seniors have really brought it. Uh, our weak side has also come pretty strong from the freshmen and sophomores. Also, their setting and passing needs some work. We're really close, all of us together. We all practice every day and or whenever we're not playing. We just love to play volleyball and we love each other. As the boys continue their hard work and dedication, they are setting themselves up for a great rest of the season. I'm Megan Drake, NBC Sports. Hey guys, you know, track is usually an individual sport. But Coach Tony Avitato of the girls' track team thinks that the camaraderie is going to contribute to their success. Brooke Beachin headed to the track to get the story. The MHS girls' track team is having another successful season. Although track is more of an individual sport, the girls work together to reach their team goals. At practice, we're always working together to push each other to work harder. And as our times get faster, we encourage each other to beat each other's times so we can continue improving. Um, and at meets when we finish, we try to go back and cheer for the people who we ran with because if they didn't finish the same time, then we want them to finish as fast as they can. And I think as a program, the girls have been super supportive of one another. Whatever meet they're at, whatever practice they're at, they're always cheering for one another. And I think that's a really important thing to build um, team spirit and camaraderie as a group. Whether it's competing against each other or cheering each other on, the girls always come together for the good of the team. I'm Brooke Beachin, NBC Sports. Yeah, wasn't that your girlfriend in that last bit? Easy, Beebs, easy. Let's just get to the boys' track. The boys' track team has all the talent this year, but it's up to their dedication if they want to reach their goals. The deep voice man, Lucas Hayes, has a story. When most people think of track, they think of dudes running in a circle. However, this is no ordinary group of dudes. This is the boys' varsity track team. And through thick and through thin, these guys have been sticking it out and they'll continue to stick it out until the very end of the year. Our hope, our goal is to get all four relays. You have four relays in track and field. Uh, last year, I think we had three um, and four we've never done. So we'd like to do that. Um, we'd like to get some other individuals to the state meet and then hopefully win the regional if possible. We'll continue, we've won the GMC every year we've been in it. So we'd like to continue to do that. We've had a few setbacks. We've had a few key injuries, uh, but the guys are starting to come back. They're healthy now. and. So we're hoping to, to get things going. The boys varsity track team is on the precipice of greatness. However, whether or not they achieve it is truly up to them. I'm Lucas Hakes, NBC News. All varsity softball players have to get their start somewhere. Started from the bottom, now we're here. All right, well, Coach Adam Tui says the girls are extremely competitive this year in order to move up to the varsity level. Let's go to Matt Stevens with the story. The Mason JV softball team has been developing their game all season long. Mason head coach Adam Tui sees his team as one of the most competitive JV teams in the GMC. JV is all about getting ready for varsity. You know, it's the junior varsity. We, we got a team of, of people who can probably be another varsity team in the GMC. You know, we, we really handle our business well in our league. Um, we're probably the best or the most competitive team out of any JV team we've seen in the past two years. Um, we do try to get better every day at something. That's one thing we try to instill in our players is to get at least 1% better at something, not just in softball, but in their life every day. Having the first month be an inside was terrible, uh, so we got a lot better with that. Um, some people learned how to field the ball a little bit better, and I think that's really improved us. I think uh, our short game also being able to slap and bunt has really improved over the years. I think at the varsity level it is a serious weapon, and we are learning to do that at the lower levels to get them ready for varsity. With the JV softball season almost concluded, the team is very pleased with their development as they look ahead to concluding the regular season. I'm Matt Stevens, NBC Sports. Hey, Biz. What's up? Dude, I heard you hit like a girl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There is nothing wrong with hitting like a girl. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with hitting like a girl. The Mason varsity softball team is off to a great start. They're looking to claim a GMC title. Brandon Emerson has a story. The Mason varsity girls softball team is now in midseason with a current record of 12-4. and 4. 
Senior shortstop Sammy Hainer says that she sees great progress in their team's goals this year. We really bond as a team and I think that helps us execute a lot. Like when one person gets down, everybody picks each other up and then people start executing again. I think we have a great fielding team, especially like I said with bonding, like when one person makes an error, nobody kicks it around, we just keep going and pick each other up. With their current GMC record of 9-2, and two, the girls are getting closer to tournament time. Senior Megan Warren, currently batting 404, says she sees their potential to do big things. Um, I feel like we have a good chance at winning the GMC. We've uh, stepped up against some big opponents, and I think we'll continue to do that. We have a couple big matchups coming up the next two weeks, but I think we have a good enough team chemistry that we can come back and beat the good teams. Um, the next few mo months will be to you know continue going on, playing the great defense we've been playing and hitting. Um, we really want to make it far in the postseason and get back to where we were last year and get further, so that's kind of our focus right now is win the GMC and then get back to where we were and um, hopefully go to state. With nine games left in the regular season, their incredible team chemistry and hard work will advance the Mason girls varsity softball team on their road to victory. I'm Brandi Emerson, NBC Sports. Guys, don't you just love it when your peanut butter is nice, smooth, and consistent? Mmm, I love that peanut butter. All right, whatever. But, all right, girls lax, they got consistency throughout their whole roster. Matt Stevens brings you the action. <laughs> The Mason girls lacrosse team is gearing up for postseason play as they look to conclude the regular season. Mason head coach Paul Limpert sees his team's tough schedule as great preparation moving forward. Our best competition is, is always Sycamore. Sycamore and us and the city, is that's the toughest. Kentucky Country Day was is typically a good team and, and New Albany we played earlier in the season, a really good competition. and. Yeah, you have to play that competition because you're going to play it in the tournament. You know, we're just trying to get better, better than we are, every week. We're we know we're we're as good as we you know, as anybody in this city, and pretty probably anybody in the state. Uh, we have good depth I mean, all over the field. We got 12 players on the field that all belong there. There's nobody we're hiding. At any given night, we might have a different leading scorer. Um, possession is getting better. So off of the draw controls, we've got everybody from sophomores to seniors contributing there and you know, good depth and good talent. The Comets look to continue with their winning ways and use their depth to go deep into the postseason. I'm Matt Stevens, NBC Sports. The Mason men's lacrosse team finally took down the Upper Arlington Golden Bears. More like gummy bears. Yeah, no doubt. Shout out to my boys James DeFranco, Dangle Deck, and Bro Sika. Men's lacrosse team is off to a great start this season, claiming the number one ranking in the Midwest and looking to do some serious damage this postseason. Maddie Cooper has a story. The Mason Comets boys lacrosse team has faced the Upper Arlington Golden Bears multiple times now, except this game ended a little bit differently. This game ended with a win for the Comets, 6-5. to five. Congrats on the win tonight, Coach. Thanks, that was a big one. We needed that one. Yeah, so this game has been played in the past a couple times against Arlington. It's a huge competitor for you guys. How did you guys play this team differently? Uh, you know what? I don't know if we played any different. We just played a lot harder tonight, and we went after every ground ball, and the kids were fired up about this one. We've been here before and come up short, so... We want to come out ahead this time. Let's talk about junior Steven Glandorf. He was on fire in goal tonight. Awesome. You, you can't win a game like that without a goalie that's going to stop things that he did, um, especially man down with six to five score, and they take a shot right on the crease, and he stops it. That's just big. That's big. So what does this win tonight mean for you guys? Hey, it means we're number one in the state right now. So we're going to go from here and see where it takes us. How does this win feel for you guys? What does this mean since you've been playing Amazing. for four years? I mean, we've been put, we've played them four times in, in these past four years, and we haven't won once. And this was our, our our year. I mean, and we're number one now in the state. We got a long way to go in, in the tournament here. We're not going to stop here. It's just going to keep on going. The Comets have continued their undefeated season by beating the Upper Arlington Golden Bears, which makes them officially first in the state and the Midwest, which is history for the boys lacrosse team. I'm Maddie Cooper, NBC Sports. And don't you remember the days of freshman and JV baseball? Uh, no, I don't even remember being a freshman, seniors. Well, you know, both freshman and JV teams working on their skills to get to that next level. Maddie Cooper once again goes out to the field to bring you the story. The Mason varsity baseball team is among the top teams in the state. However, most players got their start on the JV and freshman baseball teams. This season is so different from anything that they've ever played as far as uh, school is concerned. You're getting up early, going to school, then coming out to the field and playing, then trying to get home and do homework. Um, so um, just this consistency aspect of it is one of the big things. And, um, you know, just becoming better ball player, especially at this level, that's one of the big, big things is just becoming better.
While the freshman baseball team is mostly about learning fundamentals and working on consistency, the JV team works more on strength and progress. Um, as a team, I think we've been really coming together. We've made a lot of progress since the, uh, the start of the season. Um, in terms of what we're doing well, our pitchers have done a fantastic job throwing strikes early in the count, working ahead. Um, our defense has been really solid. And, um, you know, game to game, we're trying to prove our con consistency offensively. But we've got a really nice group of guys. And I think, um, you know, start, start of the season to us being now about two-thirds of the way through the season, we made a lot of progress. So um, just consistent effort every day and knowing what it takes to win tough GMC conference games. Uh, I've learned that leadership is the main goal because that's what they expect on uh, varsity's leadership. And our coaches have taught us mainly to be leaders before players. So basically everyone's trying to be a leader. With their ability to run roll Princeton, the Mason JV and freshman teams have shown their hard work and success thus far this season. I'm Maddie Cooper, MBC Sports. I'm standing next to two of the baseball players on Mason's undefeated varsity team. Now, these boys are a family on and off the field. Let's head over to Megan Stamper with a story. With the win over the Coleraine Cardinals on Monday night, the Comets improved the record to 17-0 on the season. According to assistant coach Kurt Bly, having a team that plays the game with integrity has contributed to the success of the team so far this season. We've got good players with good character um, that play the game the right way, and you're going to win a lot of ball games when you got that. We want to we want to win tomorrow. Um, you know, as far as our larger long-term goals, you know, we just keep those off in the distance. We try to stay focused on today, what we need to do today to play the game the right way, to play the game the way we know we can. Senior Andrew McDonald says the bonds between the players has been another factor in their success this season. We've all just come together. We all like we hang out outside of baseball. We've all just come together as a family, so it helps us a lot in the dugout and on the field. We just kind of click together. So. By taking it game by game and setting short-term goals, the Comets strive for a deep run into the postseason. I'm Megan Stamper, NBC Sports. Guys, this is starting to get a little redundant. It seems like every single team we talk yeah. about is going to win the GMC title and do some serious damage in the postseason. Yeah, I mean, we're sounding like a broken record, and men's tennis is no different. Joanna Malfreda hits the courts and bring you the story. Even though the boys' varsity tennis team has changed this year, their goals and competition haven't. Our goals this season is to uh, win the GMC. We uh, claimed that title for the first time last year. And the GMC, our biggest uh, competition, is Sycamore. We have to be uh, totally up for that match. We can't just assume, oh, we won once, so we got it again, because that is not the case at all. Coach Linda Curtley has faith in her team, but knows they need to have a plan to stay ahead. Well, I wouldn't say we always take over by any uh, means. Uh, no, we have to go in with a plan, and we definitely have to be focused and do our best each time because the competition is really pretty fierce out there. After being at the top of the Coach's Classic last week, the boys now have the confidence they need to reach their goals this season. I'm Joanna Monfreda, NBC Sports. We just knocked that out of the park like my boy R.J. Berger Thompson. Thanks for joining us for the first CSBN Sportscast. I'm Danny Dean. I'm Alex Day. And I'm Matt Beebe. Game, set, match. We're out of here.